Taking the trash out to the curb is a weekly tradition in Riverside County, but do you know where that trash ends up? It goes on quite a journey, but ultimately ends up in a landfill like Lamb Canyon in Beaumont. In this virtual tour, we'll show you the ins and outs of Lamb Canyon and give you a bird's eye view, literally, of how waste is managed. But before we make our way through the landfill, let's rewind a bit back to the curb. Trash is picked up by a waste hauler and then most likely goes to a transfer station. While a normal garbage truck can carry 10 to 12 tons of trash, these larger transfer trucks can haul upwards of 20 tons of trash. For reference, that's equivalent to seven elephants. Those transfer trucks are loaded up and make the trip to a local landfill like Lamb Canyon, where the public is also able to drop off materials. The first thing you'll see as you enter Lamb Canyon is a small booth and scales. This structure is a crucial part of the landfill for both trash trucks and the public. That building is called the fee booth, and the scales on the ground play an important role. Loads are weighed coming into the landfill and exiting the site, with the difference amounting to how much material is dropped off and the cost for doing so. The fee booth isn't just about weight, but type of material too. Our employees will learn a bit about what's being dropped off. What type of trash are you bringing in? It's all just wood. Uh, what type of wood? Like tree wood, fence wood, lumber? Depending on the material and the type of customer, the next steps can be different, as you can see from the sign. Smaller loads that the public brings in will likely go to our waste recycle park, where certain materials will be sorted. While normal refuse will be collected, large appliances, electronic waste, and scrap metals will be set aside, and even old mattresses will be recycled. The Waste Recycle Park also features our ABOP site, where antifreeze, batteries, oil, and paint can be dropped off for free. It's crucial to keep those materials out of the landfill, and they should never be put in your trash bin. So now that we know a bit about the Waste Recycle Park, it's time to go where the rubber really meets the road, the active pad. This is the final destination for everything you put in your trash bin. Those large transfer trucks, guided by a landfill safety monitor, will deposit refuse in specific lanes. As the trash piles up, the Department of Waste Resources uses heavy equipment to bury that trash. But it's not a random process or a simple hole in the ground. Instead, it's a highly engineered system that follows a plan as buried trash is formed into cells and lifts. The landfill itself is equipped with a multi-layered liner system. This liner also includes long lines of perforated piping. As the landfill breaks down, liquid and gas are formed. Piping at the bottom collects the liquid and piping throughout the landfill collect landfill gas. We want to make sure that gas doesn't just escape and go into the atmosphere. Instead, the piping pulls in the gas and directs it to our methane flare station where it's burned off. Engineering technicians in the field use technology to ensure that the flare system is working at an optimal level and the techs can track down any leaks in the line and repair them quickly. We don't just monitor air and gas at the landfill, but water too. Technicians are constantly taking samples from wells not only at active landfills like Lamb Canyon, but closed landfills across the county. As you can see, we rely on our staff to keep the landfill in working order, but that staff isn't just comprised solely of humans. This is Ice. She's a Harris Hawk, and her job is an important one as well. If you've ever been to the beach in summer, you know that seagulls are drawn to trash, so it didn't take long for them to figure out a landfill could be a buffet. The birds aren't just a nuisance, they're a health hazard known to carry dangerous pathogens. That's where ice comes in. Paired with a handler, ice flies over the active pad, and because she's a natural predator to the seagulls, as soon as they see her, they clear the area. It allows our staff to bury waste more efficiently. Each day at the close of business, those mammoth machines apply a cover to all of the waste deposited that day, and then pull a tarp over the fresh layer of dirt. So that's how the trash you toss in your bin ends up in a landfill a system that includes dedicated employees and plenty of sophisticated technology. From scales to multi-layered liners, methane flare stations, heavy equipment, and yes, even a hawk. We hope you enjoyed this virtual tour of the Lamb Canyon Landfill.